everyone, welcome. What you see in front of me is a iPad from some friends of mine, which has, as you can see, a broken digitizer. And they asked me if I could repair this for them. So um, I got the new digitizer right here. And as you can see, this one uh, came with a pre-installed home button. So um, I don't have to transfer the home button from the broken digitizer to the new one. And also it came with the camera bracket you see on top here. And today I'm going to record the repair of this iPad. And, and um, yeah, hopefully it uh, will help you out. So without further ado, let's get started. I got my plectrums, got my spudgers. As you can see, you need a lot of these. And the most important thing you need when you attempt a repair like this is patience. Because um, the glue Apple puts on their digitizers is very sticky um, and we need to apply some heat uh, on the edges of the digitizer um, to loosen up the adhesive and it will be uh, way easier to uh, get the old digitizer off. I hope uh, we get it off in one piece but I don't think we will. As you can see here's the home button and there runs a flat cable from the home button to this side of the screen. Uh, be very careful when you use metal tools um, to get underneath the digitizer. These cables are very fragile and they will easily snap and then you will need a replacement and you can't continue your repair. The cables are quite inexpensive uh, but, but as I said the digitizer I bought for them um, comes with a home button pre-installed so um, that's quite convenient. It will save us a lot of time. And also the adhesive is already stuck to the digitizer. So this shouldn't be too hard to repair, um, but we will see how it goes. For now, I will put this aside so we can focus on our iPad. Um, for applying the heat, you can use um, a heat gun. Be very careful uh, not to set it too hot because you will damage the LCD screen uh, if it gets too hot. Um, I will use a standard hairdryer, as you can see. So we're going to start from this side, probably the top, and work our way around the edges. And hopefully we can fold it open once, uh, once everything is loosened up enough. So, do we have power? Yes, we have power. Um, also have a little suction cup. Um, it will do the trick, I hope. And some spudges. And a metal one. I think I need this one to get a start um, to get in between the frame and the digitizer itself. So before you start, make sure the iPad is turned off. Yes, now we can get started. Quite a bit of noise. Let's see if we can get in between here don't want to damage the iPad itself. A little opening. Very gently. Yes. And let's get one of these in between. Be very careful not to go in too deep. Yes. This is quite a time consuming process. Quite some adhesive under there. I think I will go further with the plastic one. Ah, oh, yeah, I like the sound of that. Thank you. 
be careful when you get to this part there's where the camera is so you can feel it when you get to the to the camera yes very nice let's continue Ah, uh, yeah, and also this can happen. It's a shame, really. Well, maybe we're lucky. Definitely seems so. Yeah, cracked all the way. Glass. Should have did. Yes. Yeah. So that's that side. Now we continue our way along this side. Don't go in too deep because you will damage the LCD screen. You don't want that. It's quite expensive. Hot, 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 hot. Very easy. Mm, I think here it will snap. Not yet. Okay. Okay, and that's that. Yeah, pretty stuff. Yeah, piece of glass everywhere. We need to get in here. So, this is the least fun part of it. Also, the bottom needs to come off, of course. Our luck. Don't expect this to be an easy fix if you want to try it yourself. Just saying. Be careful here because this is where the home button is located. Very gently. This is something I don't like. Let's get. Let's try again. Yeah. The part I hate the most, really. Ugh. Well, I think we have to take our chances and try to fold it that way, get some heat underneath. And um, first we do this side. Let's see how that goes. Yes. 
Okay. Very careful. Yes. And one here. Oh, I'll touch the LCD. The LCD screen, if you get fingerprints on it or adhesive, you have a hard time getting it off again. So, better safe than sorry. Biggie Steph. Very careful here because this is the location where the cables are located. And also from <laughs> So I think I'll leave it at this and just trying to fold it. I think that's the best option for now. Another piece of glass. Yeah. I think we're out of luck today. Trying to do this on cam, but <laughs> it's very hard. Yes, there it goes. So now we have a nice opening. So the adhesive is coming off nicely, as you can see. It saves us a lot of work on the cleaning part. I'll leave it right here and we get it off after we have our digitizer removed. Nice. What we want to do now, get a Phillips screwdriver and get these screws off, out. First there's, to get to there, we have a little bit of glass in the corner covering the Phillips screw. Let's 
see if I can pull it. Oh yeah. That's definitely a thing. Although I have the home button, I don't want to damage the cable. So I'm getting my tweezers. Hopefully, I can get it out. Work with me. There you go. Be very careful when you grab the glass like I do, because you can easily cut yourself. Just want to get to the screw. Yes. Nice. Now we get our Phillips screwdriver. Yes. And we undo the screws, these screws from the screen. That's the first one. The second one. And on top as well, two screws, but they are covered up with some tape. Just get the tape off of there. As I said, patience. And get the screw out. Yes. Okay, third screw. And the fourth screw is on the other side. Also with some glass covering it. Needs to come off anyway, so get it in. Very nice. This saves me a lot of time. Itchy, sticky stuff. Yes, there we go, so, piece of glass, now we can get to the last screw and also the same way covered by a little bit of black tape. Yes, so. Now we need to be very careful because we're getting out the LCD screen. And oh, this goes really easy. You have the chance if you try this that a little bit of adhesive is getting stuck on the screen. Try it out with our tools. And the screen is very, very fragile. We don't want to damage it because that will be an expensive repair. Quickly get my Phillips screwdriver. Maybe I have something I can. Mm How -hmm. I'm going to do this new? Just like this. In the way. Don't. Yes. And as you can see, uh, one, two three Phillips screws and we're just going to get them out and uh, then we can dis 
and then we can disconnect the LCD connector. So that's the first one. Another one. Oops. Now the last one. Yes, last one. Okay, and I can tell you these are all the same length. So, so now we can take the metal plate off the metal cover and it's attached with a little bit of adhesive to the lcd connector so uh, it's going to come off as one piece so i'm just going to get my pry tool underneath here very gently yes and that is the LCD screen. So, I'm going to put this aside and clean it up later because there's a little bit of dust and glass on it. So, I'm going to blow that away in a second. So, our iPad, nice. So, now we're going to disconnect the digitizer connectors. Just with a plastic tool, no metal, with a plastic tool underneath it. Apply a little bit of force, not too much, and it will pop out. Like that. Yes. If you want to replace the home button as well, um, the cable that goes here is uh, connected to the home button. And underneath here is a little bit of plastic tape. Pry that away. So as you can see, there's the connector with the plastic tool. Get behind it and you can just pop it open. Just like that. And now you can gently pull this cable out like that. There's a little bit of adhesive on this cable as well so we're going to apply some heat again. And this needs to be in place and this to come. Stay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes, now we take off the rest of the adhesive. Yes, and a little bit in this corner as well. And we have our broken digitizer with home button. I'm going to yeah, leave it on here. Cable is not damaged as you can see, still intact. I'm going to clean this up. And first what you want to do is get all this adhesive off there and uh, after and get all the glass out and after i'm done with that i'm going to um, to install the new digitizer yes so with the adhesive out of the way as you can see yeah um, it's time to reassemble the uh, ipad um, but first we go of course we're going to make sure our new digitizer is working as it should so, um, let's get the new digitizer and let's get, get this off, yes, be gone, okay, another one here, so this is the actual home button connector, yes, nice, okay. 
So first I want to make sure that the iPad is still working. Otherwise this is all for nothing and that would be a shame. So let's unbutton connector in first. And once it's in place, fold back the connector. And it will lock the cable in place. So Yes, that one. Don't force. Don't, don't use force on this. Just a little bit of pressure. Otherwise, you can damage the connector. So that's that. Now we need the LCD screen. Now I'm short of hands. Um. Let's see if this will work. Yes, yes. Thank you. Don't touch the LCD screen with your hands. Fingerprints are very hard to get off. Yes. Easy. Oh, let's give it a test drive. Oh. Well, oh, that's working, so that's cool. And the touch screen is working. Nice. So let's power it off again. And let's assemble it. Okay, these two. Yes, that's one. And that's two. Two. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So that's the protective film for the new adhesive. Okay. Second part. Almost feels satisfying. Third part. Yes. So once this is done, we can get We take our screen and we're going to do oh there's a little bit adhesive underneath here. That's for the home button connector. Yes. So with all the protective film off. Let's assemble it again. So we have the iPad. We have our screen. First, let's connect the home button connector. So with that one in place, one goes on top again. 
just like that. Now let's connect the LCD cables. That's one. And that's two. And now we're going to reinstall our LCD screen, which has some dust on it. So we're going to blow that off carefully. Luckily, I have no fingerprints on it. To keep it that way till it's in nice and secure. I'm going to. Sorry, you can't see this, but I'm going to reconnect. LCD screen. So LCD screen is back in. Now we're going to screw back the metal cover. So that's the second screw. Now we are going to screw back the last one. Yes, all in place, nice. Now gently Align the LCD screen and let's screw back the LCD screen. So that's the first one, second one, then third one. Then the last one. Yes. Get the dust off this. Okay, now we pull the protective film off. Like this, and we fold back the screen gently. Take your time with this. Apple. Okay, well, that seems to work. Nice. Home button works as well. Well, and if you're happy with the result, the last film, and this is the most satisfying part. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to wrap this up. Um, as I said before, I'm going to detach the uh, home button from this broken digitizer. And, you know, maybe I can use it in the future, who knows. Um, as I said, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, if you have any comment suggestions, maybe some advice, please leave them down in the comment section. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.